Hello everyone, Colin Kinnett here for Woodwork Web. Today I'm embarking on something I've never tried before and what we're going to do today is I'm going to make a set, a wooden set of a cake lifter and it will look like this and I've already drawn it out and I'm also going to make a wooden knife and it will look like this. Now my idea of this, because we're coming up to the wedding season for uh, a lot of countries, this would be a great set to use at, for example, a wedding where you have a cake to cut and then you want to serve that cake. So what I've done, I've taken a couple of pieces of scrap wood, and I'll show you these, and I've uh, glued in. I've done this all off camera because I don't know how long this whole little project's going to take. So I've gone ahead and I've glued this piece in. And if you look at this one, you'll notice that it's a little bit offset. And the reason for that is this one is going to be for the pie, or sorry, the cake lifter. Well, it could be a pie lifter as well. Uh, so it'll run through the middle. But the knife, what I thought would look better was if this was a little bit higher up on the knife. So I've taken that and I'll do that. And as you can see, I've already cut these out and these are kind of rough. Uh, I'm not entirely happy with these, but we'll draw those out and we'll run them through the bandsaw. But the first thing I need to do is to run this through my jointer, first of all, and get a little bit flatter surface here. Then we'll draw around them and we'll take them over to the bandsaw. If you're new to the channel and you like making things out of wood, you like watching people make things out of wood and learning how to do things, I'd invite you to subscribe uh, and don't forget to click the little bell button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, let's run these through the jointer. So there's what we've ended up with. Um, and there's the, the knife, and you can see how thick it is. Same with the cake lifter. But let's have a quick look at the cake lifter for a second. Now, clearly it's too thick to do anything with. And there's a few things that we could have done. We could have started off with some thinner material, or I could keep running this through the planer until it gets down to, you know, about an eighth or so, or maybe a little bit more. And then I could add a couple of pieces of wood onto the handle, just glue them on there, um, make it look like a, a handle, and that would that would just give a, a different effect. What I'm going to do instead with both of these, um, and in hindsight, maybe you can learn from my mistakes, I probably sh would have left the bottom on here, um, and I what I want to do is cut it with the bandsaw. So there's the line I've just drawn on there, 
and I'll taper it up like this and that'll give me a little bit thicker handle and a little bit more substance down here and when I'm doing the cutting on the bandsaw I'm going to be moving it so that wherever the bandsaw blade is I'll be as flat on the surface as I can. If you don't do that the, the bandsaw tends to want to pull it down and there isn't a problem there's no kickback it's just that it'll it'll tend to want to move it up like that. All right let's get started. There we go, that turned out alright. Uh, it's a little bit uneven, but uh, a little bit of sanding will fix all that up. Let's get on with the knife. Now on the knife I want to take two passes, so I'm going to create a line on both sides. Well, and now comes the dreaded sanding part, which is probably going to be uh, the most tedious. And I'm not going to make you sit through it. I'm only going to show you sort of the beginning. Uh, but basically what I'll be doing is um, starting off, I'll, I'll shape all of these, just sort of round out the bumps uh, and do a little bit of shaping in here. Uh, this is a little bit uneven because of the bandsaw. Uh, and I've already done a tiny bit of sanding and it works well. It, it'll fit in there just nicely and we'll be able to smooth that down. I'll even put a little bit of a, a I'm not sure what that is, a kerf at the bottom, whatever the bottom part of the sharp blade is. Uh, and then the same with the um, cake lifter. And there's uh, our little cake lifter and our knife. I can't believe the fine edge you can get on that wood. It's amazing. I'm just going to use a little bit of Osmo to finish it off. You could use whatever food grade you wanted on this. Uh, and I'll put a link to a video where you can see all the different choices of material that you can put on here. I love the way that uh, wood in there just sort of pops out. And now that the Osmo is dry, I'm going to apply a very thin coat of beeswax and that will help to make sure that the uh, food doesn't stick to it, it'll release easily from it. So that's the final step, I'll put that on there and after it's dry, I'll give it a good buffing. Well, and there's my little cake knife and pie lifter or cake lifter if you will. Uh, a lovely matching set uh, and I'm amazed at how sharp you can get an edge on that uh, on that wood there. You could probably cut meat with that, it's that sharp. But even the pie lifter, the cake lifter, it's got a nice sharp edge on it so it'd be easy to get under a cake or pie. Uh, but you know if you've 
got somebody in your family who's getting married and they don't have a sword to cut the wedding cake with, uh, you know, what a lovely alternative. Uh, it would even become a, a wedding keepsake as well because it's something that uh, you could hang on to and uh, uh, reminisce about. Um, something that you could make for a gift for somebody. Uh, lots of alternatives that you could do for something like this. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.